Ricky Hitman Hatton, this all-time great welterweight, one of the most beloved fighters in English boxing history. Amir Khan, one of the finest fighters Britain's ever produced. Olympic silver medalist in 2004, multi-time world champion, fighting out of Bolton, UK. Todd, can you spot the reach difference? Can you spot it? Look at that. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, Introducing from Manchester, England, a popular and exciting junior welterweight and welterweight champion of the world, here is Ricky Hitman Hatton. Fighting out of the blue corner from Bolton, England, here is the Olympic silver medalist, one of Britain's youngest ever professional world champion, a unified 140 pound champion of the world. Introducing Amir King Khan. To fight in this venue, you have got to be a very accomplished fighter. And I think it's safe to say that both of these athletes are certainly that. Todd, you know when you've got two fighters there that really believe they're going to win, really want to get it on? This is when it gets stupid. These athletes have promised us a war. Let's see if they deliver. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Nice counter shot. These two fighters are made for one another. A lot of trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. Situations like this, Todd, will either make or break a fighter because the expectation from the fans of the people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Beautiful counter shot. Good counter punch. No rest for the weary. Might want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. There's a counter shot. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Pretty dominant round there. Let's Come see. on, look across the end. And there's the bell to start round two. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. The perfect counter lands. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You're going to swarm on your case. You know you've got to fight. You've got to hold him. You've got to tie him up. You've got to lean on him when he come in until the referee makes you break off. But keep your hands high because I will keep punching until that referee said stop. Why are they throwing punches? They should be playing defense right now. Good counter right hand again. Trying to answer back. He just misses with that big right hand. You couldn't write a script like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. Beautiful counter punch. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. A perfect counter shot. At this point, you got to believe he... There's the bell to start round three. 
Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. Punch, counter punch. It's knockout or bust for both of these fighters. And just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. Good counterpunching for both these athletes. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of terms. Not many of the people in the division hit like them. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Good left counter that lands. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and... And there's the bell for round four. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. This fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using that length advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fights can do that. Good counter left hand there. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's gonna be a hard night tonight for the judges. This is not good strategy. Those punches are doing nothing. Nice offensive display, landing that left counter. That left counter punch will score. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Catch and shoot. Well, there was no hey, doubt gone. about who I'm won that round. Gone. Dominance, Before without a doubt, made it look so, Before so easy. Mix it up, body and egg, be smart, change your angle. Okay, I'm happy, I like that round. Good work, you thinking. Time for the fifth round. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. <laughs> Counter right. Timing beats speed. Speed beats power. Caution is being thrown to the wind. That one will count. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through it? What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Lands with the right counter. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Nice counter. He is down big. Good round, I like. 
On to the sixth round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Another scoring shot there. That left counter was perfectly timed. Nice job landing that left counter punch. There's a scoring blow. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. Power, despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. The game plan does not... Here we go, it's round seven. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. He threw the hook, didn't land. Good counter punching for both these fighters. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What timing beats speed, speed beats power. And it appears the onslaught is over. Amir Khan is rocked. And down he goes. What an upset this could be as Khan is down. At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. And a counter left. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. Left counter scores. He's been knocked down, but at least not... There's the bell to start round eight. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him. Ricky Hatton couldn't take anymore, and down he goes. make it up and this fight continues good counter punching nice counter punch great counter right hand there big swing and a miss nice counter shot they have no respect for each other's punching power Right when you think the pace will slow down, it picks up. Nice counter shot. They both won a... So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Hey! 
Let's see how the game plan changes after. And there's the bell to start round nine. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full barrel because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Ricky, big shot, and down goes Hatton. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden... Amir Khan backing up! Can you believe it? Amir Khan goes down. It's onward and upward after another knockout win here. Accuracy, power, punch, perfect. That must hurt. 